Louisiana Beer Reviews, we have Red Stripe Imported. Keep note of that. Imported Lager Beer, 4.7% alcohol. Desno and Gettys, original founders from the 1920s. You say, well, Red Stripe, we know, it's from Jamaica. Brewed and canned by Heineken Brewery, Amsterdam, Holland. Copyright 2020 Red Stripe Lager. Imported by Red Stripe Company, White Plains, New York, uh, under the supervision of Desno and Gettys Limited, Jamaica. So, Desno and Gettys, who is owned by Heineken, supervises Heineken to produce Red Stripe in the Netherlands, Holland. Best Buy date is August 2021. I guess the 242nd day of 2020. We're within their date, guys. Has a date born on day, guys. Serve ice cold and enjoy. Well, it's ice cold. Well, not quite ice cold, but cold. Bought this at a local convenience store. Um, you're seeing more and more of these Heineken produced world brands. Uh, see Tiger Lager produced in the Netherlands. They have certain Mexican beers produced in the Netherlands. So the question is, can it be done properly? Uh, I would assume it could be. I think with current conditions in the world, that's why they're doing this. But it uh, could be that there's so much being produced at the Jamaica Kingston distiller uh, brewery that they can't keep up with the demand. They might have overflow into Holland. You might remember in the 2007 to 15 era, I guess, you had the Red Stripe Jamaican style lager. These are just some other things I have on display. But um, um, not sure. I think this is the 310th day of 2012. Brewed and bottled by Red Stripe Beer Company, Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Latrobe? Huh. Well, let's think about that. Who runs Latrobe Brewery these days? Oh, City Brewing, Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Now, this one was sort of grim. I complained about it. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it, it wasn't up to the Jamaica standard. And uh, that contract ended. So let's check out. I figured it would be appropriate to put it in a Heineken glass. Clear. Let's check it out. Clear. Super bubbly. Fairly thick white head. That's it. Clear, golden, bubbly, Heineken type beer. But not started by Heineken, started by Desno and Guinness and bought out by Diageo, meaning Guinness. Guinness bought it, but they, they for whatever reason, decided to sell it to um, Heineken a few years ago. It smells kind of sour, like not a sour beer, but you know, lager beer sourness. Like an old Milwaukee, Milwaukee's best type thing. All right, cheers. Medium bodied. This is an adjunct lager, so they're using um, some kind of corn products, I think, as a filler, as a fermentative. fermentative. Nice lacing, whereas Heineken uses no corn nor rice. Bitterness is low, but there is rounding bitterness to round it out, keep it balanced in a sort of like a Phil Spector wall of sound approach. You can't discern any particular instrument. It's just like a wall of sound. It's a a wall of aroma and flavor here. Slight white bread crust, uh, no real sweetness, just a touch of it and just a touch of bitterness. Medium bodied, a dry, uh, crisp mouthfeel and a crisp finish. Okay, so um, <clears throat> They seem to have done a lot better job than City Brewing was doing in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. City Brewing, though, 
10 years ago, they had a lot of problems from what I could see. Like, their quality was questionable. But then I, I think they have made many improvements. Many improvements. It was a, kind of a small company that took over three huge breweries. And I guess it took them a while to get organized. But now they're putting out really competent stuff. But they're, they're not doing this contract anymore. This is being done by Heineken for Red Stripe. Desmond Geddes, who was owned by Heineken. So they're supervising themselves, essentially. You say, oh, you're being cheeky because it could be a team from Jamaica's brewery that has a handle on Red Stripe, Red Stripe Light. They make a lot of other beers down for the Jamaican market. Um, Dragon Stout that's going to Holland and making sure they're doing it according to their proper procedures. You're right, and I, I did, I shouldn't make a joke like that, but, um, and I, I'm, I want to retract that. But it is still Heineken up, um, supervising themselves, ultimately. A little more sweetness is coming out, like a glut. I said this about a previous a Dunkel Lager, a glutinous flavor, like the juice of the barley or wheat, um, which is pleasant. Actually, I'm enjoying this. Uh, how could I differentiate this from the Red Stripe Jamaica versus uh, Holland Brood? Obviously, the only way would to be would be to do a blind taste test. And I would not be opposed to that. I'm not exactly super interested in doing it. I may never get around to it, but it would be a, I guess, a frivolous, in a way, taste test, because I don't think this contracting is going to last. I think it's just being done by the current crisis or um, so-called crisis, but it, it could be something that they're looking to do long term just because of overflow reasons. Mm. My hypothesis is that it wouldn't be much of a difference. I really don't think this would be much different, if at all, from the Jamaica facility. I'm not tasting, because the the one from Kingston is clean, crisp, refreshing, competent, normal, if you want to say bland, kind of world <coughs> uh, production lager beer type thing. Okay. It's in no way offensive to to my tasting, 149 calories, so you're not looking at a big bloating, fattening beer. I'm pleased with it. I'm just going to say, so I don't know. We'll see about the taste test, but I'm going to say, hooray, beer. It's a good beer. And I think it would go with go well with pork chops and beef tips. And, and gravy with onions and grits and even some um, fried speckled trout actually but uh, naturally with french fries so and some salad so anyway <laughs> score these beers are tough to score because you're sitting there talking about how they're bland and dull but yet the enjoyment, the international enjoyment units are pretty high. They're like Tiger Beer. They just go down easy and they're they're sort of like hanging out in a cabana watching European football, Jamaican football, or cricket type thing. They're not contemplative beers. They're not designed to be that way. Dragon Stout is much more that way, but then they give you that tiny little bottle which get, sets you off and gets you angry. And it's a game. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to score it a 92 uh, 9.2 out of 10. It's lower end of excellent, you know, in the A minus range, but still, uh, they did a good job at the the brewery in the Netherlands, so I can't complain really. And the price wasn't jacked up, so that was another benefit. So les 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 bon temps relay, a pretty enjoyable Jamaican style imported lager. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana and eat some fried seafood or grilled or broiled.